Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to this video uh, regarding Divi Machine. This is the the tutorial series we're doing. In this series, we show you how to use the 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 plugin. It's not specific just to cars, but we are we are creating a car listing website. So, in the previous video, we created this uh, archive loop with all the different cars, and you obviously you can click on that; and it takes you through to the single page. Uh, it had a load more button as well. So what we want to do on this one is create a filter. So we want to filter the 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 posts. Um, how do we go about doing that? So let's jump back into uh, Divi Theme Builder and go to our, our archive page. Now the filter post module at the time of recording uh, we haven't we haven't done the visual builder side yet so in this video you are going to you're not going to be able to see the visual builder unfortunately however we are working on this so let's add a new module and let's add the filter so you can just type in filter posts so here you'll just get the filter post is not visual builder compatible compatible yet however it does work on the front end okay so uh, just bear with it for a second. So, um, let's change this column to be like this. Oh, that looks terrible. Move that over there. Um, let's just change this. I don't like the four column. I think that looks too small. So let's go to the grid options. Change that to be a three column. On tablet, we want it to be two. And then mobile one. Okay. Now the filters. You have full control on what you want to filter. First options we'll have a look at is the filter location. So do we want it on the side or do we want it on the top? At the moment I'm just going to have it on the side and then I'll move it to the top and show you how it looks over there. So let's just leave it on the side like this. Auto number of columns, this is really when you're at the, at the top one, uh, when you're on the fill width column. Uh, at the moment we're on the side, so let's just leave it as auto. There's no gap between the columns because it's a single column. Filter update type, so do you want to have a button that you click to filter or do you want to make it update each time you make a change? I like to have it so it updates after each time I've made a change in the filter so I've chosen that one the filter style is toggle or normal let's just leave it as normal for now okay so I've done my main settings now I want to go ahead and add a new filter item so the first one uh, let's just add category yeah C category is quite a good one we need to choose the category post which is cars uh, full width is perfectly fine. A uh, category, so we're going to make it a select as well, and let's just update that. So I'm just going to have one filter for now, just to show you how it works. Let's reload this page, and let's filter. So here we have all the convertible cars, all the coupe cars, SUVs. And that's how it works. Simple as that. Um, now you did you do notice you have that little uh, filter animation. This is in the previous video in the archive loop module. We have this filter and style update animation style. In here you can change it to be something else. Three dots bouncing, and I'll make it red. Let's update, update that and have a little look and see how it looks. Convertible, hatchback, no cars, estate, no cars, SUV, and everything. So I think that actually looks quite nice, that, that filter. Okay, so we have that. The other thing is this reset button looks pretty horrible like that. So I'm just going to go on here and go button. Um, Custom styles for the button. Uh, I want to make the text size like 
12, button text color, background what. I think we should have another option. Let's just go like that. The whole, um, yeah, so I'm just going to um, go into the button and just remove the border width. And then that should be okay. The other thing I want to do is I want to add some more filter options. So here we can have, uh, you know, pros. We can have advanced custom field, which is what we want to filter. Uh, don't worry about the category post type because that's you can just set this if you want. Advanced custom field name. So here I want to have pros filter type. It's much like the advanced custom field item module if you've seen that. For the top is a is a number range. I want it to be full width. If I go to the number range, again I can have zero, hundred thousand. I want it to be flat. Primary color red. Pretty far the text. I'm not going to go into all this detail because in the advanced custom field item we spoke about this. So the separator is a comma. Uh, the before I'm going to do a pound symbol. Show the label, that's fine. Okay, so I have uh, in this one I have the admin filter name. This is the category, isn't it? So body, what is the show on the front of there? See, so it says categories. Body type is what I wanted to be what I wanted to say. So I can go down to element options and I can create a custom label body type. Okay, so body type, price, uh, what else do we have here? I can also do sort posts or post dates. I can have search, uh, search text, so I can just have text, uh, class, um, element options. Okay, so we're going to have some text. I'll put that at the top, I think. Sorry, search text. Okay, I want to have price. I also want to have another advanced custom field. What are we going to call? What is this one going to be? Um, the uh, mileage. And if I go to my custom fields, my mileage is a range, I believe. Just want to see which one I use. Yeah, I use the range. So in here, I want to make sure that the filter type is a range. And in the mileage, I think I have it up to 100,000. I have it up to 200,000 actually. So the number range filter, I'm going to make that, make that a zero to, I don't know, 60,000. Make it red. Um, it is, it, you know, I don't need to put a pound symbol because it's not a pound symbol. Yeah, I want to pretty, pretty far the text and put a comma. Okay, so let's just update that and have a look and see what, what's going on now. Okay, so you can see one of the things you can see that categories has now changed to body type. And I have a price and a mileage and I also have the reset buttons change the appearance. So let's update the price, for example, and let's shove it down to 20,000. And you'll see it will show you the cars that are below the 20, uh, that are below 20 to and under. If I push that up, it'll probably show some more cars. The mileage, let's chuck the mileage right down and see what happens over here. Yeah, so the mileage also changes. And I can also search by text, so I can say, uh, I don't know, Jaguar, and um, no cars will show there. So there, the Jaguar will show. Okay, so I'm just going to remove that, I'm just going to reset everything and have it. And then you can also load more as well. Okay, so 
Yeah, so that is how you do the filter. Oh, so the other thing is, sorry, I should really show. The other thing you can do is, uh, let's, the color, let's do color. This is quite a cool one. Color, I'm doing O-U-R because I'm in the UK, so <laughs> it's a bit different. Uh, so here we have an advanced custom field. It's a cause. The custom field name is color. I'm going to make that a checkbox radio. Full width, checkbox radio. Let's just do normal for now. I'm just going to have it as red, uh, and I don't want it in line because I want them underneath each other. Let's OK that and let's save the page. You can see it's all below each other. Okay, that looks quite nice, but let's go back into the um, the color option. Let's go into the checkbox radio filter options and let's change this to be tick boxes. Let's see what happens there. There we go. Black, white, or Just to go back into here, where you change the color for the the checkboxes is in the design and in the filter style in here you can change the color uh, okay so the other thing was instead of tick boxes another option is called buttons and this is another another you know unique way to show the checkbox or well, the radio buttons and this does buttons like this so that's another cool way to do it uh, and we'll keep on adding different styles like this in the future. Okay, so that's the that's the filter module uh, on the, the sidebar, and you can see how we can have different things. Now, let's say we want to have it on the top. We can customize it, and we and hopefully in the you know in the near future we'll actually have the visual builder so you can see it. But let's do a fill with column. We want to make the columns auto. I'm just going to do auto gap between the columns. Let's do it like 10 pixels. Let's take a look at that and have a look at how it shows. Okay, so you can see that it's kind of like it's auto. Let me just remove this text field because I haven't styled it up so it looks. A bit awkward not having this empty space so you can see I have this body top I have you know filter by price mileage and color but it's not the best because it has this massive space so what do we do about this well here we go we can actually go in here and we can choose layout options choose toggle and what they will do is that will add a nice little toggle which will close and then you can toggle it to open it up and then you can close it and you can add um, in these modules you can add box shadow you can add you know a border you can do different things over here you know to to make it so it's, it looks a bit better than it is at the moment but you can see how you can really get uh, you, know, you can really get into it and really make it exactly how you want it to look um, you can have so for example I'm just going to show you a quick example in the body type you know I could I could say okay actually I want a border on the right and the border width is one pixels I'm just going to use this as an example the spacing might not be right but you can get an idea you know and then I just need to add a bit of padding and then I can make the padding exactly right there so you can have a, you know these dividers between each one if you want okay so uh, I think that I think that covers the filter module uh, and I'm, I'm gonna actually remove that, that that border but I think this covers a filter module enough for you to kind of play with it and make it exactly how you want it to look uh, I hope this has been helpful and I hope this filter module I mean, we love it. This Ajax filters is brilliant, and it also works alongside the load more. So let's just, uh, you know, so let's say I want to say um, I want to see all the 
coupe, you know, and then you can load more of the coupes. So yeah, so they work seamlessly together, and they yeah, it's just a brilliant way, and I'm really we're really excited to have this as part of the the plugin, and I think you will love love it too. So get in touch with any you know what what you think, any questions or any features that you might want to be adding to this. But we hope this has been helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.